Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Pisces. I want to wish every one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. I hope you guys are um, safe, staying safe, uh, but also uh, doing good, taking care of yourselves. Uh, I hope you guys are ready for these crazy ass energies that we're going to be experiencing for the remainder of October going into November. Anyways, let's get into your reading Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month in regards to love and romance. Now your first card here is the three of pentacles, the six of pentacles, the moon card, the nine of cups, the temperance card, and the page of pentacles okay all right pisces you guys have the three of pentacles so this is a time uh to really you may be experiencing feeling like a lot of support in regards to your partner i see them being very supportive or trying uh to be supportive and understanding of your feelings and your emotions you may be having or going through this like um it's almost a feeling of like a roller coaster type of emotions where you're really low and then you get really high you get you're super good and then the next day you fall into this anxiety or this depression um there's a lot of anxiousness in regards to relationships now i'm going to be honest with you guys uh, the past couple of readings i keep being told that you may be dealing with more than one person if this is your case and you are in a committed relationship and you have been dealing with the third party or a someone outside of your relationship and if this is you the one that's doing this what they're telling you here is to be very cautious pisces you have the moon card and the moon card represents everything to do with the hidden with the subconscious and we are actually going to be experiencing pluto's return and as you guys know, um, that is the planet that rules Scorpio. And Scorpio has Ketu in the eighth house. So all to do with secrets, all to do with things that have been hidden, have been kept underwater uh, emotional wise. So you, this could be the reason why you feel like you're on a roller coaster of emotions because you are very high and then you go very low. And all of this is emotions that you've been either suppressing ignoring not wanting to acknowledge in a relationship this could indicate when we have a tendency of sweeping problems under the rug and not wanting to deal with it uh and again ketu sitting in the eighth house of scorpio what it's going to do it's going to in order for you to be able to receive the blessings that rahu has in taurus you have to it's a tug and pull you have to find the balance so that of again hiding your emotions speaking up for yourself in a relationship uh for those of you guys that have a tendency of overdoing in your partnership um and when i mean overdoing i mean in the sense of if it's usually you the one that's holding the relationship or trying to keep it together or trying to glue the relationship um if it's you that has a tendency of overdoing and the partner all it does is take and take you're gonna get to that point where you're gonna explode you're gonna completely flip out on them and it could be over the most simplistic thing but it's like you've been suppressing this for a very long time so again i encourage you guys to be very open when it comes to communication if there's certain things that your partner's doing that you're not okay with that you find disrespectful decorating or belittling you it's time for you to you know take a stand speak up for yourself and let them know hey this is not okay i'm not going to be allowing you to disrespect me in this way or even in your pursuits of career if you feel like they have a tendency of being a little bit over jealous or overprotective or you know whenever you have this you know these ideas that flow to you if you communicate this with your partner and your partners instead of encouraging you you find that in the past um they they're not that excited about it it's time for you to speak up and let them know hey you know i would appreciate if i have some type of positive feedback 
um, because what they're trying to say here is for the remaining of the month, you and your partner are going to be feeding off of each other's energies. So what I mean by that is if you are extremely emotional, uh, they might find themselves very irritable. You guys have to keep in mind that Mars is activated right now, and Mars is all about aggression. It's all about when push comes to shove, I'm going to flip the fuck out. <laughs> That's what Mars is. So again, uh, it's becoming very irritable, very emotional, or even crying. If, you're the, if you have a tendency of being more passive-aggressive, uh, you can just you know start crying over... A, a very little inconvenience and it's because you've been suppressing all of this you know dealing with so much emotionally that you haven't really dealt with it so you're suppressing it suppressing it until it becomes overflowing and what they're saying is for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship there has to be balance there has to be a 50 50 there has to be a give and receive on both sides and it's about coming together or understanding the importance of coming together to be able to maintain a relationship. You cannot maintain a relationship on your own, Pisces. You have to have the emotional support from your partner. And with the moon card, there may be certain things that you've been knowing about your partner and you haven't wanted to dealt with. Now, what they're telling you here is you're going into a cycle where there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming your way. You have the nine of cups here, emotional fulfillment. This could be opportunities that come to you um, in regards to finances, in regards to career, it, it, even in regards to solidifying some type of relationship. Now, I do have the three of pentacles. So again, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with, you know, third party energies. And if that's the case, uh, what they're telling you here is you need to acknowledge your feelings. You need to acknowledge the feelings that you have. Do you have feelings for the person that perhaps your partner hasn't been there and the situation is not ideal, but you found someone that you could feel that emotional connection with? And if that's the case, there has to be choices that need to be made. There has to be changes that need to be made. With the temperance card here, it's about balance. It's about timing and balance. For some of you guys, this could represent a person... Um, really seeing you as a prize, seeing you as, you know, someone of value. Now, this is speaking directly to those of you guys that are single. You may be dealing with the Sagittarian energy. For some of you guys, Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, could be water energy as well, a Scorpio, uh, Cancer type of energy. But what they're saying here is, for those of you guys that have been single and you've gotten to the point of feeling self-sufficient or feeling like you don't need anyone. That's fine to be empowered in that sense. But if deep down inside there's a sadness or there's a feeling of a void, there's nothing wrong with acknowledging that we need that emotional connection. And it's okay to acknowledge that because once you acknowledge, you're no longer saying I am independent. I don't need from no one. But if deep down inside what you're wanting to bring to you is a relationship, then you need to start acknowledging your desires, what you truly desire that is underlying all of this, you know, self, you know, self-reliant type of energy, this independent type of energy. Um, it's time for you to acknowledge that and to be okay with it, to sit with it for a while um, and to really figure out, are you ready? Are you ready to move on? Are you ready to start a new relationship? Whether you're ready or not, I do see uh, a, a person coming towards you wanting to connect with you. And this is not an old energy. This is new type of energy. But what they're saying is, again, stop resisting the changes that come up. Stop resisting um, or ignoring that you've been feeling emotional or that you've been feeling like you need to express yourself with someone just let it out uh sometimes that's you know purging ourselves from everything that we've been keeping to ourselves so that's necessary um but what they are saying here is whether you're ready or not pisces there's opportunities that are going to be surrounding you for the remaining of the month and going into november um so again embrace this transformation embrace this new beginning for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, em embrace uh, 
feel comfortable opening up to your partner and showing them your vulnerability and allowing them to open up to you as well. That's going to be key for this month. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.